fucking hell. Hi everyone, I've had a little development today, so I'm pretty damn happy. Fingers crossed. We have had this Mark V Mondeo 2 litre diesel, it's a 65 plate. The engine oil level keeps rising. And I know there's a few people around the world, there's someone actually in Australia, well forget your name, but there's someone in Australia who's got the same problem. The oil level keeps rising in this car and we've had this problem on one particular car. And believe me, I have tried, I've looked at it, I've scratched my head and I've been trying to work it out. I'm not going to give the answer tonight because I don't want to sort of like count my chicks before they've hatched, so to speak. But what's basically happened is this particular car, <coughs> I fitted a part on it and then it sat, the car sat in the yard for a number of weeks because the driver was in another car. So it never got road tested to see if it was fixed or not. Two weeks ago, the driver got put back in his car and he is now done. He drove in the yard today and he's done 2,000 miles around about. I checked his oil level. His oil level was absolutely bang on the maximum mark. It has not risen one iota. So I was like, I think we got this. But just to be safe, I said to him, go for another week, bang another 2,000 miles on that car, come back, let me check it. But from what I saw today and the mileage he's covered, I'm pretty confident that we've got it. We've got it fixed. Uh, I'm going to make a video on this particular problem. It's been a long ongoing saga. So, <laughs> and I, I can't really explain it now because it's gonna take me a good 10 minutes to go through it and everything I've done and all the, everything I've looked at to try and get to resolve this problem. But just to point out, not only was the engine oil rising in the sump, uh, usually, if, but if you had done 2,000 miles in this car, it would have risen sort of like, I don't know, a good litre and a half. So, and it's not good having diesel oil going into your engine oil. It's thinning it out. It can damage your engine in the long run. So, I shall make a complete video of this, and then I shall put that out for everyone to know. But what I was going to say is, the other symptom we were getting on this car was... On your instrument pack, on your dash, where it split, where it, the little chimes up, it comes up her uh, engine oil change required. If you reset that, guaranteed within a space of three or four days, that'd be back on again, engine oil required. It was coming on really frequently, and that was running alongside the engine oil rising, which seemed to be a bit of a clue as to what could be wrong. We know it was DPF related, and we know that, that during the that when the actual DPF is being regenerated, and the ECU controls the regeneration of the DPF through the fuel injectors. So it's a bit of a complicated system, okay? Uh, not like the Mark IV Mondeo, they've got a nozzle in the exhaust that sprays fuel into the exhaust down into the DPF. This isn't like that. This is a lot, this is a lot more technical. This is actually the ECU is controlling the fuel injectors and the fueling and, and it controls the fueling to clean the DPF. So, uh, but I think we got it. I definitely think we've got it. Because I asked the guy today as well about his engine oil change message keep coming up on his dash. And he says, no, it's not coming up no more. So I thought, yes. <laughs> but I, I'm so glad we've pretty much got to the bottom of this. But like I said, I'm going to wait another week get him to do another couple thousand miles and then we'll if it still hasn't risen at all which I don't think it's going to now I think we got it then I'll, I'll get this video made as quickly as possible it's going to be basically me sat here talking about everything that's been done to this car what's happened and every and this that and the other but yeah I'm pretty happy we've got to this the end of this nearly uh, it's Halloween guys I just wanted to say happy Halloween everybody I haven't made a Halloween video, I wish I had, but what I'm going to do, just for tonight, because I haven't done anything, I'm going to bang out uh, an old Halloween 
like seeing me and Monica done, <laughs> just just to get something out there. I, if, if you may not, have, I'm not seen it because it's on an old video. But so I think it's quite funny. I even had to laugh at it myself, <laughs> and I don't normally laugh at myself. But yeah. Uh, also, I've got a car show. We went to me and Kevin went to a car show on Sunday uh, yesterday. That was the twenty the thirtieth of October. So I've got that one to put together and, and put out. And I've got a heater rad video on a Mark III Mondeo, which is still sitting on a bloody computer, which I've got to get done. But I'll get them out anyway this week. But anyway, I just wanted to say that little update because that's sort of like real good news. And I know there's a few other people around the world that have got the same problem. So hopefully at the end of this, it will shed a little bit of light. It may not give you the answers you're looking for, but I'm pretty confident it's gonna be a close answer. And it may, it may well help a few other people out. So anyway, happy Halloween, everybody. Woo! Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.